superheroes stand watch when danger closes in and save those in need. But they have one thing in common. They never show up in the real world. Until Ulysses. Flora, played by Matilda Lawler. What's interesting is that she's playing a 10-year-old, but she's playing it in a way that she has such an adult point of view, and the way that she sees the world is so unique and exciting. And through her and her vision of what she sees the world, and through this magical squirrel, the superhero squirrel that she finds, hope kind of comes back into this family's life. It's so fun because you get to see the change in all the characters. Like my character at the beginning is a little bit sadder, and after he sees all this hope and magic that's in the world, his life blossoms, you know what I mean? And with that, you know, his, his wife Phyllis, played uh, by Allison, it's, it's, such a, it's such a fun thing to watch this family kind of be at an impasse and not know what to do and have so, much, so many questions. And then through this incredible daughter, uh, Flora, and through this magical squirrel, the superhero-like squirrel, uh, all these magnificent things happen. I play Flora, and she's a very brave, smart, kind, really, great girl and I think she's definitely going through some like troubles and she's unsure about a lot of things right now but you know yeah Ulysses comes in and he pretty much save her, saves her. So you had a girl who's smart she's innovative she loves comic books and this is just some months after her parents got separated and now she has become a true blue cynic. She has, she reads a book called Terrible Things Can Happen to You. She knows how to do CPR. She is set and she's trying to, she's like Andy Dufresne in the Shawshank Redemption, telling Red, like, hope is a bad thing. <laughs> That's Flora when we meet her, until Ulysses comes into her life and shows her, you know what, maybe, maybe you can give hope just one more chance and you might see something you didn't think was out there. What? I lock my keys in the car. Dad! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not used to being on the run with a fugitive squirrel. <laughs> See, I told you it was a superpower. Matilda. Oh, Matilda plays, uh, plays Flora, and she is just phenomenal. She has incredible intu intuition. You can't treat her like a child, and you shouldn't, because her skills are like an adult. And she has a huge heart, and she knows how to do subtleties and humor and soul. She's amazing. I play a character named George Buckman. I play the father of Flora, who in the book, uh, is not in it quite that much. And my character was used to write uh, his own comics, but never really had what it takes to publish them, whether it's that he was afraid that he was gonna fail or he just didn't believe in himself. And so that imagination is so ingrained in his daughter and the way of thinking and the way this, you know, building your own world is so ingrained in Flora that it's great to see it pass down from generation to generation. But um, even though I start off as feeling like I'm kind of being beaten by the world, in the end, I feel like I'm triumphant and people understand me and really connect with me finally, which is exciting. George is played by Ben Schwartz, who at the same time has this giant heart and an incredible capabil capability for improv humor. And so we just milk that as much as we possibly could. And so when we say, Ben, this is your time to be funny, he just elevates it to a level that we couldn't imagine from any other actor right now. We've had so much fun with him. I play the villain. Surprise. I play Miller, but I'm not a villain. Miller's just trying to keep everybody safe. He is... Uh... Maruna County Animal Control. Miller has a sort of checkered past. In the past, a town has been ravaged by a raccoon. Didn't go so well for me. And so I'm trying to seek some redemption for that. And because my job is to keep the town safe, if there's any kind of abnormal behavior from animals, I'm trying to rein them in, right? Any animal that could run full speed downhill on a tree should be feared. Danny plays Miller, and he plays the animal control gentleman who is worried that Ulysses has rabies and wants to capture him and wants to take care, like, you know, to get rid of the problem and figure out the problem. He's such a funny human and a funny actor, and he gets to really go crazy in this. Uh, he's awesome in this. I can't wait for people to see it. You don't have to ring the bell, but you do have to fix it. But I don't live here anymore. Which thing are you responding to? Ringing it. So you'll fix it. Oh, I did fix it. That's why it sounds that way. Hi. Hi. Well, oh. So I was gonna go. Uh, okay. Yeah, just like a yeah. oh. adult. Phyllis is played by Allison Hannigan. She's incredible, so funny. Watching her and Ben Schwartz work together, just a, such a fun, natural couple who are able to sort of mine these great comedic moments, but also being so grounded and so real. It's been just really cool for me to watch. She's so funny. I've always loved her and everything, and I was a big fan of How I Met Your Mother, and 
among other things. Yeah, it was cool. And so it's just been fun to be part of this this cast that I've admired largely because of their comedic abilities and just to see everybody and their range in this movie has been, it's been really fun. Each of us are, are doing something that we haven't done before, which I think is pretty cool. Lena Khan is directing this film and she's been fantastic and wonderful. And one of the great things about Lena is that she has a complete vision. She's also, she works her butt off. She wants this to be as good as we want this to be. She has really put everything she has into this. And you can see it every day and she's collaborative and she has, she's able to keep her vision but also be collaborative with the actors and also the thousands of different departments that are coming after you uh, each moment. And for this to be one of her first projects, you know what I mean? It's a big undertaking and she's really doing it, man. She's really coming to play, so it's very exciting. No, Ulysses, you only have to hit it once. Go. Uh, and now. N now. No, no, no. Now. 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 You guys see? Stop it. Now. Stop it. Now. Now. Wait, wait, wait. Don't, 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 don't. Give me a second. Pull it now. Come on. Ulysses. Ulysses. Ah. Got it. What's so special about Ulysses' powers is that he's not like, I think it's very special because he's not like saving the world or making this like huge, big life and big difference in the world, but he's really just really helping Flora's family and bringing them back together and giving Flora hope and teaching them that you can never lose hope because Flora is losing hope. You know, I love this movie. It's um, super sweet. It's got something for everybody. Like I said, there's this awesome relationship between the parents trying to figure out their relationship. Flora has this amazing relationship not only with Ulysses but also with Ben. So there's this awesome sort of coming of age story happening as, as well. And then there's Miller time over here, baby. I'm just trying to figure it all out. You're gonna like me, because obviously I'm sexy. So there's something for everybody. People look to the skies for someone to save them. So the universe sent us Ulysses. People. People? Say hi. Hi, people. How are you? How is everything? Who do I play, Matilda? Uh, George. Who is George? Uh, Flora's dad. Who plays Flora? Me. Ooh, bad news. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What's gonna happen in this scene? Well, there's going to be a giant donut that falls off of the roof uh -huh. and falls onto a car. And then the whole car gets smashed. And then who's your favorite cast member? Myself. Oh, wow. What is this? Your typewriter? I know it's my typewriter. I mean the paper in it. Squirtle, I am Ulysses, born anew. Holy unanticipated occurrences.